morning, love. Morning. Sleep well? Not bad, thanks, Dad. Still nothing quite like your own bed, is there? I suppose not. Listen, there's something we need to talk to you about. What? But we'll leave you to get showered just now, but once Rasheen and Raymond are up and about, we'll all have a chat then, OK? Michelle, I'm so sorry about last night. Don't worry about it. I mean, the customer needed the motor first thing this morning, you know, so there was nothing I could do. Just as well you had spares in the garage, eh? Eh, uh, was it aye? That's right. The thing is, Dick told me you had to go to get the parts. Oh, don't listen to Dick. I mean, he's not much a mechanic, is he? And you're not much a liar. I'm no lying. Whatever. I couldn't care less anymore. Michelle, you've just got things mixed up. Aye, that must be it. But thanks for putting me straight. <laughs> Pleased. Cormac wanted to break up with the champagne there and then, but I persuaded him to wait till after the scan. Good girl. Never tempt fate. Still, I'm glad you told him the truth. Things could have got very complicated and that's the last thing you need right now. Hmm. Gives me a chance to think things through about you and Cormac. I'm just not sure if I want to get serious about anybody yet. Having his baby seems pretty serious to me. Don't get me wrong. Cormac's great. He's kind, he's gentle, he's good looking, and he's a terrific cook. So why am I waiting for a butt? But I'm not sure how I feel about him. You know what your dad used to say? Up here's for thinking, down there's for dancing, but a bit in between causes a lot of trouble. So what you're saying is, listen with my head, not my heart. Listen to your old mother for once. You were sure how you felt about Billy, but he broke your heart. You said yourself, Cormac is over the moon. He'll stand by you. He is the baby's father. Believe me, love, there's a lot to be said for keeping things simple. Oh, yeah. There's my girl. Uh, come on in, love. Yeah, is everything all right? Uh, take a seat for a minute, would you, sweetheart? What is it? You see, Alana, the thing is, um, me and your mum, Roisin, we've really loved having you here. But we've been talking with Janet and Alex and it's become pretty clear to us how much they've been missing you. So, what I'm actually trying to say is... Alana, you can see how hard this is for Raymond and Rasheen. Um, and we've all been talking about things together because we all want what's best for you. And that's why we agree, all four of us, that Mum and I are taking you back to Aberdeen after Christmas. It's not quite as simple as that, Alex. You want me to go? Of course no, darling. But there's things we can't give you here. What things? Your ballet classes, your dance school. No, I don't care about all that. Alana, please don't start all that nonsense now. Janet? Your dad's right, Alana. You've been here quite a while now and it wasn't meant to be forever. Believe me, sweetheart, Raymond and Rasheen have really loved having you, but... It's time to come home. I come bearing gifts. Did you not be following us, Dad? Mm -hmm. The only wise thing I ever did was asking you out. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. Well, how about it gets us both to our beautiful boutique hotel for a Christmas day, dinner and night you'll never, ever forget. What did you say? Well, it beats boiling sprouts with Gina. It sounds fantastic. That's really sweet of you. Oh, really selfish, more like. I just want to go somewhere I can unwrap my present in peace and quiet. <laughs> so you've all been talking about me behind my back, have you? When was this decided? Temper, temper. What is she like? Come on, Alana, calm down. Well, don't I get saying this? I mean, it's my life, not yours. Sweetheart, will you just calm down and listen for a minute, please? 
Do you two want me to go? Is that it? Alana, darling, please do not get yourself so upset. Do you want me to leave, yes or no? Of course not. Well, that's that then. But we do want what's best for you, just the same as Janet and Alex do. And you think you know what's best for me, do you? Alana, you didn't have to do anything you didn't want to. Let her go. It's best to give her a wee bit of space. Believe me, this is par for the course with Alana. We've seen this countless times, haven't we? She can get herself quite worked up. Ain't that the truth? What a girl. It's been the same story since she was that high. The height of nonsense, eh? Just can't stand to see her so upset. It breaks my heart. Why do you think we feel? Look, the only way past this is for you to convince Alana that you really believe she should come with us. But that's not what we want, Alex. <laughs> what I mean is, you have got to get Alana to believe that you think that it's in her best interests to come back with us. I mean, you can't deny her that, can you? We'll have a word, see what we can do. I'm telling you now, Raymond, I'm not putting pressure on her. We'll talk to Alana, but this has got to be her decision. We wouldn't force her to do anything she doesn't want to. I don't know what you say. Can you understand it? I can, I see you. You just don't want to get stuck with me in the rain. Can I blame him? Trouble with Bob is, does he know a good thing when he sees it? But at least I know a stone. None of my brothers know what's good for them. I've learned that all right. I don't know what you do. I do. Go get back to party. Hello? Jerry? Aye, I can manage that. All right, aye, I'll see you then. Bye. Alana, darling, did I get so upset? You can we love you. Then why are you forcing me to go? Nobody's forcing you, darling, but your dad's right. It's what's best for you, for your future. And your mum's really missing you. You're my mum! You care what I mean. But don't I have a say in what I want to do? Of course you do. But we can't compete with Alex and Janet. We're not able to give you the things they can. I don't want things. I mean opportunities. What about your dancing? I never knew anything about that before. We can't let you throw your future away just to stay here with us. It wouldn't be fair on you. I mean, you didn't want to get older and look back and wish that you'd grabbed the chances when they came along. I don't want to go. Of course you don't, darling. Not now you don't. But you'll thank us for this in the future. Then I worry about us. We'll be all right, honest. Alex and Janet brought you up all these years. They'll love you, you know. And it's been awful of hard for them having you away so long. But won't you miss me? Come here. Of course we'll miss you, Wilbur Raymond. Goes without saying. You don't doubt that, do you? No, of course not. We'll cope. So don't worry about us, all right? You promise? Come here. So, Santa Callum's taking you away to his magic grotto for Christmas then, eh? Uh, it's all right for some. Mm. I could be dead romantic, I mean. Just the two of you. You'll have a great time. It's only for the one night. You know, a lot can happen in one night. It just seems like an awful lot of carry on, you know, getting packed for such a short time. Look, okay, I've been saving up for ages. Don't forget he's still a student. Exactly, so I don't like to see him throwing his money away. It's Christmas. You just want to spoil you. Oh, come on, you can't complain. I'm not complaining. Oh, well, you don't seem to be jumping up and down with excitement either. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And so you should be. <laughs> Wind and dined and whatever else might be on the menu. <laughs> you never know. You might get lucky. You might get snowed in. <laughs> Better not. I've got my work to get back to. Look, don't worry about that. And anyway, are you not due some time off after all that overtime you've been putting in for Archie? You know, I'm going to have a wee word with him. 
Yeah. <laughs> Tell him off for working my wee sister too hard. <laughs> Talking about Archie, you two seemed very cosy in the grill the other night. What? You kept that quiet. There was nothing to shout about. He just took me out for a meal, that's all. I know he'd like to take you. Don't be daft. No, Archie. Archie Buchanan's a gentleman. <laughs> I, well, the good thing is, now me and Alice are all right. You and me don't need to go anywhere. So we're staying? Uh, is that all right with you? Oh, great. <laughs> as long as I don't come back to the parents' evening, want to chuck me in the street. But you've been doing good at school. They won't be angry. I uh, hope not. It's not as if I've been dogging it anyways, but... It's just been so much I've had to catch up on. I'd be good at that stuff. It'll be all right. If we weren't in a rush, there'd be a dozen taxis out there. It'll be here any second. Maybe you should phone again, just to make sure. It'll be here, Mum. I just don't want us to be late. And we won't be. Take it easy. You're a bundle of nerves. I don't be daft. I just want things to go smoothly and it's not good for you to get all worked up. Me worked up? I'm fine. Funny thing is I've never felt better. And I know the baby's fine. I can just feel it. Right, there she is. Better check that it is yours. Oh, it's mine all right. I should know. I've waited 15 years. Yeah, just hang on to that top. Oh, thanks, Kel. You've been brilliant. I don't know what I'd have done without you or your ma. I just wish you were only going. Me too. But I know how Bob feels about me now, so it's better if I just get mine. But anyway, your ma's got enough on her plate without having to worry about me and Rochelle. Look at where you go. I think it's the world of the both of you. I've loved having you around. <laughs> Even when you were knocking down the bathroom door for me knitting your makeup. That's your job, but I've always wanted a wee sister. Somebody to share secrets with and talk about stuff and that, you know? Somebody like me. Don't be daft. No, I'm serious. I can have a better wee sister if I picked you up myself. Oh, thanks, Kelly. All right. These are your favourites, eh? Look, I told you. You're welcome to any stuff of mine. As far as I'm concerned, you're my wee sister. I just wanted to say thanks, that's it. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Especially Bob. I wouldn't even have my way back if it wasn't for you. He can come and see me any time. That's if he's wanted to. Of course we will. Won't we, Bob? Aye. And you can come and visit us, I know. I mean, it's not as if you're going to be that far away, is it? Look, I better get going. So you take care of yourself, all right? Aye. And mind, don't you be a stranger. Have a good time last night? Hmm? You and Gina, in the grill. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, we did, actually. Not that it's any of your business. I want to know what's going on between the pair of you. Nothing. Well, not yet, anyway. Not yet. And what's going on between us? It's just a quick fumble after hours. Hang on a second. I've had enough of this. Enough of me? I mean, you have used me. Who do you think you're talking to? All right, we had a laugh, but... Let's not pretend we're in love or anything. I can see who I want, when I want, and you are welcome to do the same. Oh, don't worry, I will. Good. Let's not fall out. You and I clicked from the start. We both know that, but let's not pretend it's something it isn't. Yeah, you're right. I maybe I overreacted. That's my girl. So we're not going to fall out over this? No, of course not. After all, we both know where we stand now, don't we? Right, I'd better make a move. You've got plenty of time. I've got court after lunch. Skip lunch. Anyway, the exercise is good for you. I can. I mean, I've got so much to do. Oh, I know. That's what makes it so good. Really? Not now? No. Oh, the lovely thanks, darling. I wanted to give this to you, Bob. It's just a wee thing to remind you of me and Rochelle. Oh, it's all right. I don't need to remember you and Michelle. <laughs> Gonna just take the present? Are you all right? Gonna just keep your hair on? All right. Cheers. Just a 
just a stupid photo with Brainies. I mean, Michelle's getting that big now. You soon will be able to recognise her. That's brand new. I know exactly where I'm going to put this. Aye, right. Better for a taxi. See you. You've not got the brains you were born with. Alana, I can't believe you're actually leaving. Just think, I'll be out of your hair before you know it. Don't be stupid, I don't want you to go. No? I bet you can't wait. You're straight up. I miss you. Honestly, I'm not be the same about here without you. Thanks. I miss you too. Lots. And Hazel Sue, of course. Mm -hmm. I miss you both. I suppose I better get on then. Hi. What? No way am I doing that. You're keeping me for advice, remember? I can't grasp my own brother up, but... You don't have a choice, Kelly. All we have to do is find out where the next deal's going down and phone the drug squad. Drugs? But Stevie swore to me he wasn't involved in any of that. Kelly, this is Tommy McKay we're talking about here. What do you think Stevie's doing selling cuddly toys? Your brother is taking all the risks here. He picks up the drugs, takes them in the cave. If he gets caught, tough. Believe me, Stevie is expendable in every way. So there's a good chance he get busted anyway? Every chance. His only hope of getting out in one piece is to let McCabe think he's been caught. But he's got to get caught with the drugs on him. He'll be stuck in jail. But he's been stuck on the ground. How long would they get? I could do a deal with the Crown. If he pledged to being a courier, five, six years. What? It's the High Court. But the parole will end up doing half that, and he'll still be breathing. I can't handle this. I'll see you later. Look, wait a minute. I, I'm not doing this to upset you here. You've got to face the facts here, Kelly Minnie. If you want to save your brother, you're going to have to do this. And you've got to do it now. Michelle, can you get a move on the guys? Get a meter running. I can't go any faster. Hey, go, mate. Change your plan, eh? What? Hey, come with me. Well, what's happening? You're not really about to go and stain that manky flat with the way, are you? Well, what choice do I have? See, if I said you didn't have to leave Shield Inch, what would you say? I'd say, oh, that's brilliant. But what's the point? I'm leaving. Look, what are you getting at? Because I've no good time for this. Kerry Marie told me that you thought I was jumping about with other birds. Is that true? Aye, but what if you did? I don't own you. We would have had to do that for if I was staying in the same house as Miss Scotland. Okay, it's so funny. That's why you've not been near the place for days. Right, do you know where I've been and who I've been with? Fair enough. I'll show you. Show me what? Come here. Now turn on. What are you doing? Ta-da. There she is. Beautiful, eh? So what do you think? I've been working hard day and night trying to get her ready for you and Michelle. I don't know what to say, I'm most for words. <laughs> Never, no. I think I'd like you move into that old pile of junk. <whistles> Cheers, pal. <sighs> That's the game. That is beautiful, eh? Merry Christmas, Michelle. But I don't understand. I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay here forever. <sighs> Welcome home. Oh, aye. And there's the key to the door. She's all yours. But, oh... But I can't believe it. It's... It's brilliant. I said you and Michelle wanted to be that far away, remember? As far as I can see, everything looks perfect. Yep, everything's fine. Good. You know, you're really lucky getting to keep that figure of yours. I was out to here with my first. I looked like a beach ball. I'll probably be the same by the time I'm nine months. Well, I don't see why. You're six months gone already. Six months? But I can't be. That's not possible. 
Tell it to the baby. How'd it go? Well, uh, we had a long talk with your teachers. Yeah, we certainly did. And they all said the same thing. I don't know what's got into you, Zoe. Neither do I. But whatever you're doing, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, I'm proud of you. You said me going there for a minute. <laughs> the teachers all said you've been trying really hard. Yeah, you're going to all your lessons, contributing in class. Nah, it seems you're fitting in really well. You two are getting me up here ready. <laughs> oh, don't be daft. Look, you should be really pleased with yourself. We're both delighted, aren't we? We're really pleased. You should be proud of yourself, Zoe. Cheers. Mm. Can I give you a hand with that? Uh, no, I'll manage myself, thanks. Oh, no trouble. Here, pass me a bit of paper. Are you deaf? I said I'd manage myself, OK? No, it's not OK, young lady. Who do you think you're talking to? Someone who couldn't care less about me, that's for sure. Oh, it's ridiculous. I love you. What do you think? Well, I think it's very clear you don't want to come home. And I'd like to know why. Alana, tell me. You can tell me anything. Anything at all. I've missed you so much. Now tell me what's wrong. We just want you to come home. Your father's been breaking his heart since the day you left. You know why I don't want to come back, don't you? You do, so what's the point talking about it? Your brother's a big boy. His own battles. He'd never handle McCabe, Stevie's known his leak. Yeah, well, maybe he should have thought of that instead of getting his wee sister to dig him out of home. Well, someone needs to. Heather, I need you to help me out here. I'm sorry, Kelly, but it's hard for me to see what I can do. McCabe listens to you? No, McCabe listens when it suits him. He does whatever he likes to whoever he likes. Look, I'm begging you. I'm not wanting to see my brother with a bullet in his head. You've got to help me. Please, Heather, please. OK. Right, OK, I'll see what I can do. But I'm telling you, it won't be much. If I rock the boat, McCabe's going to wonder what I'm up to. And I'm sorry, Kayleigh, but I'm not willing to take that risk. Are you OK? Mm -hmm. Sorry? Well, yeah, sorry, I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> You're a million miles away, then. I'm sorry, Gina, it's just I've got so much work on at the office. So what were you saying? You do too much in the office. I was just asking, you know, what plans you had for Christmas? I haven't got any, not really. But I normally spend it with my old mum, but she's away this year, so... Why don't you come to mine? I mean, it's nothing spectacular, you know, just too much turkey, too much TV, the typical family Christmas, you know? Gina, no, it's Christmas. It's a special time for your family. I wouldn't want to impose. Look, you know, I see them every day of the year. Seriously. You know, you'd be very welcome. You are going to be busy enough without having an extra mouth to feed. Not at all. You know, Callum's taking Eileen away to some Porsche hotel in the Highlands. So there would be room. You are a very difficult woman to refuse, Gina Rossi. <laughs> so you'll come. Try and stop me. Slanger. Cheers. Take you long to get back to your old tricks, eh? R Raymond, it's not how it seems, I swear. Who was that? Raymond, I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry you got caught, you mean? <laughs> you know something, Alana? I can't wait for you to get back up the road. Oh, don't bother with the waterworks, please. I'm not going to tell Rasheen it would break her heart. Oh, I'm always breaking someone's heart, aren't I? 
Well, what about mine, Raymond Day? What about mine? Let's get a shower and everything. Oh, it's amazing. Is that how your pals saw it is? Ah, well, I hope they for now. I still can't believe that it's mine. Well, it is. I tried my best to make it nice and cosy for you and the Wayne, no? Do you know what would make it even cosier? Aye, another one of the gas heaters. No bother, I'll fit one up as soon as I can. I meant if there was three people staying here instead of two. Well, it's your place. I mean, you can have pals in as much as you want. What are you like? Do they have to draw you a picture or something? I'm asking you to move in. <laughs> oh, is that what you meant? <sighs> so is that an eye then? You'd better believe it. I don't understand it. Six months? Six whole months? Will you stop saying that? You're making it sound like a sentence. How come you're so far on? Are you sure you weren't with Cormac before you broke up with Billy? I think I would have remembered. You know fine what I mean. Listen, love, don't worry about upsetting me. If you went behind Billy's back, just tell me. Goodness knows he did it often enough. Not that that's a reason. I didn't go behind anybody's back. It's not Cormac's baby. Then it must be Billy's. Just when I thought he was out of your life for good, he comes charging back in. It's not Billy's either. For heaven's sake, Tella. The baby must have a father. Well, whose is it then? It's Lewis's. Lewis Cope's the father of the baby. Cheer up, it's Christmas Day. Just another day to me. I well, it's not going to be like that for Michelle and the Wayne, right? They put a smile on your faces, eh? It's meant to be the season of good work and all that. Kelly Marie, be nice to my ma or I'm going to give you a slap, all right? And as for you, Stevie, just get a grip, will you? Now put your hats on, come on. One, two, three. Good king, slash slash, look out on the feast of Stephen. When the village. Look at his dead sweet. Merry Christmas, doll. Right, Mona, let's get scrubbing. Hello, baby. Is it like real? We've more stuff for Alana at home, but it's always nice to get something on Christmas Day, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> when Alana first came here, we felt as if, well, as if a piece of us was missing. And I know Rasheen's sad that she's coming to us, but you can always come and visit. She's gone. What? Her bed's not been slept in. She's gone. This is because we told her she should come home. I said that we'd handle this wrongly. Be quiet, Janet. This is all my fault. She'd tell me she didn't have went to go. I should have listened to her. You need to stop blaming yourself. Alana could be a law unto herself at times. You know that. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I'm going to phone the police. Ah, oh, they would do anything. All we have to do is to wait for her to cool down. I mean, she's always been a bit of a drama queen. The secret is not to rise to it. She'll be back soon enough for her Christmas presents. Don't you worry.
It's vouchers oh. for the salon. Eh? Oh, I'm not going on any sunbed. <laughs> That's other treatments you can have. <laughs> it's not to be ashamed of. Loads of guys your age come in. Hey. <laughs> oh, no, that's for Olivia. Rochelle, I'll pop it round later. It's a scandal, that, a baby in a caravan. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I, I... George, it's fine. I'm OK about that now. Yeah. If I had something else in store for us, huh? Eh? You can have to tell him sometime. Come on, Magnum. Oh, come on. What is it? We're gonna have a baby. I don't know why we can't have a wee family Christmas. This is enough lot of fuss. Leave it. <laughs> and strangers coming. Dad, it's the season of goodwill. And anyway, they're no strangers. Harry's Ruth's boyfriend and at least Joanne's. Ah, and you can't be happy with that, can you? <laughs> Merry Christmas! 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 So, we'll wait to get myself dolled up. I don't want him to see me like this, do Right, you? well, come on, women. I want to see you sparkling. <laughs> oh, the lovely Gina. I think you invite me into the bosom of your family for Christmas is a truly Christian thing to do. Scott, there's punch to dish out, OK? Right, OK. Listen, folks, I'm just going to nip upstairs in a minute. You can't go now. Folk are arriving. Oh, I I can. Hi. Not too early, am I? <laughs> What are you going to do about this? Oh, Mum, I don't know. You've seen how happy Cormac is. How am I going to tell him? It'll break his heart. Well, however you do it, do it quickly. Not today, but soon. Then you'll have to get in touch with Lewis. No. Don't you think he has a right to know? He could help support the child. I don't want his help. I don't want anybody's help. Della, will you get some sense? Have you any idea how hard it is bringing up a child in your own? Maybe you don't want Lewis. But don't you think you owe it to the baby? You're right. You need some help. Shall we, son? You're no eating. No, that hungry, ma. Oh, come on. You love your turkey. Just leave him, will you? We should have a toast. What too? Happy families. Michelle Pet. Here's to you and a happy future for you and we, Michelle. You're part of the family now, so yeah. Even though that boy he'd a son of mine nearly chased you away. I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie. Welcome to the family. Well, that's Franco out for the count. We things worn out with like excitement. Pretty sore. I know. So, hey, Harry. Hey, you're a bobby in the beat, are you? Yes, sir. Hey, that's what I like to hear, eh? Mm. A young man with a vocation. No out for personal gain. <laughs> Mind you, they weren't around when you were being terrorised by a bunch of lassies, were they? The Polish have more important things to deal with. Aye, like picking and motor is doing 32 miles an hour. Harry, never mind him. He's just winding you up. I know. I'm used to drunks. <laughs> <laughs> more stuffing? Gina, just sit down and enjoy yourself. You've been on the go since I got here. Relax, eh? Everybody's having a good time. I hope so. I'm over you, Archie. You having a good time? Very nice, sir. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no! Oh, my God! Oh, this oh, my God. <laughs> Happy Christmas. I thought you were back till tomorrow. Oh, the hotel was awful, and I missed my family. Ah, oh, very good. <laughs> Shame you come. Hi, I know. Hey, listen, squeeze up, everybody. Come on, sit down. Gina's made plenty. Have a nip, Ben. Yeah, go on, go on. 
Hello. Hi. I didn't know you'd be here. Yes, you did. Remember I told you. Did you? I couldn't have been listening. Mm. Merry Christmas. Before we came here, we agreed not to put any pressure on Alana to come home. We haven't. We have. Why do you think she's run away? Because she wants to make a fuss. I think when she turns up, we should tell her she can stay. Oh, what? Well, you've seen her. She's happy. It seems crazy to take her home when she's doing so well. Doing so well? Living above a pub? What about ballet school? What about the life we've made for her? Don't you want her to come home? Well, yes, but I also think she's old enough to make up her own mind. Oh, rubbish. Look, I know you want what's best for her, but she's got to want it too. And I know that you've missed her, because I've had to live with you for the last few months. But she's growing up. She's still my Alana. Oh, of course she is. So why don't we let her stay here a wee bit longer until she misses us? We've already tried that. This can't go on any longer. This is a pub, for God's sake. Oh, Alex, it's not that bad. Raymond and Rasheen run a decent enough place, and she's having fun. I don't like it. I'm not leaving here unless Alana comes with us. It's for her own good. Fine Christmas this is turning out to be. It's a bit selfish, isn't it? I'm selfish. What about Alana? She's the one that's got to be sent to the attention, even if it means spoiling everybody's Christmas. Hazel, she's missing. People are worried about her. I keep thinking what happened to you last Christmas. Vader. I was kidnapped by a psychopath. She's just gone off in a strop, there's a difference. What, you, you don't know why she's disappeared? Some could have happened to her. Aye, right, like she didn't get the pony she wanted. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Out. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Sarah. Well, next year it's going to be very different, eh? Yeah. With a little one to spoil. That'll be amazing. <laughs> I'm going to love being a dad. Oh, sorry, I'm interrupting your meal. I just popped by with some Christmas presents. Oh, that's lovely. There's one for you, Derek. Well, I better go. Shazia's still to get hers. No, stay. Oh, no, you're okay. See you later. Alice. Merry Christmas, Alice. I'm glad you came round. Oh, Dad. I love it. Mrs. Rossi, that was an amazing meal. Mm -hmm. Gina, I told you. And thanks very much. Well, that's another bottle done. <laughs> right, Gina, me and Ruth will do the washing up, OK? You deserve the rest. You're on. Scottish right. You look exhausted. You stay where you are. I'll get another bottle. This is the most at home I've felt for a long time. Good food, good company. Go on, go on, go on. Your young man keeps giving me rather poisonous looks. Ignore him. I am. You can be a very cruel woman. And don't you just love it? Yo, Billy! Living in a bed shit now, eh? My, how the mighty have fallen. Eh? Too true. I've learned a lot of lessons over this. No, it's humbled me. That's why I'm so grateful to you and Gina for taking in like this. Ah, we when he she is stuck like that. <clears throat> Come over with me if you want. Well, I need the rent money. You could help me out. Actually, don't read anything into that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? I'll move in with you. You know, it's a shame about the hotel, Cam. It's a nice idea. The hotel was fine. More than fine, I thought. Would you not stay for them? You tell me. There you go. Oi. Happy Christmas, Gina. Oh, I mean, I left you upstairs. I mean, I wasn't expecting to see you.
Well, you're always saying that you're cold in bed. There is no point going to the police station. They've already told you there's nothing they can do. Well, I'm getting Mark them to some in. Where's Janet? Oh, she's having a lie down. Fancy a drink? You know, I could do with one. So, has the lad have done this sort of thing a lot then? I bet. She likes to be the centre of attention. I had noticed. So, has she met anyone while she's been here? She's made a few friends, yeah. Your boyfriend? I don't think... I mean, with looks like that, you know, must be loads of blokes sniffing around. I don't think she's gone out with anyone. You don't know? <laughs> Sorry. I'm being a bit uh, overprotective. It's all right. I was just wondering, though, that uh, maybe that's where she is. Off with some boy somewhere? I don't think so. And how's she been with you? With me? All right. We've had our moments. What do you mean? Ah, just the usual teenage nonsense, you know? Well, I think it's maybe time she came home. She needs her daddy to keep her on the right track. Everybody's worried sick. Vader, I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't desperate, but I need you to get me some things. Money. No, well, I'm not helping you run away. No, you don't understand. I have to. How? I've been there. I know what it's like. You only last a day. I'll tell you what, I'll get you some food so I'm warm, and then I'm coming back to talk, all right? Hey, <laughs> Just uh, one more round of drinks and then we'll send them on their way. Rejoicing. Okay. That's for you. Thank you. Well, you've done a good job for me, darling. I've come to rely on you. I don't mean to speak out of turn, but I'm a wee bit worried about Stevie Adams. Indeed. Hmm. I mean, I know that you. Rate him. But frankly, I think he may be more trouble than he's worth. Well, try and tell me something. I just think you might be better off without him. I mean, I, I don't really like the guy. I don't really care what your relationship is with him or what happens to him. I just, I don't want to see Scarlett and Kayla what get hurt. What kind of relationship has he told you we have? Sounds like Master Adams has been shooting his mouth off. No. Then, where do you get your information from, I wonder? Uh, young Stephen needs to be taught another lesson. And do you say your daughter reminds you of Alana? She's a little bit older, but yeah. She's left home now. Grew up a bit too fast for my liking. I know what you mean. They're at their best when they're young, aren't they? This little disappearing act that Alana's pulled, it's all about me, you know. How do you mean? She wants me to beg her to come home. She likes the power. Typical woman, eh? All over you one minute, then pushing you away the next. But she's not exactly a woman, though, is she? In the ways that count, she is. <laughs> and doesn't she know it? You all right? I need to get some air. <laughs> 
There's somebody out there. So? What's the big deal? Because I've got to go out, all right? Go where? I'll get it. Bob, wait a minute, come on. Guys! What? It's Alice and Shazia. Hiya. Just thought we'd come Come in. for a wee nosy. Of course not. And the baby's here as well. It's really lovely. It's surprisingly nice inside, isn't it? I'm really glad it all worked out for you, Michelle. You deserve it. I'm that proud of you, son. Me? What for? For what you've done for Michelle. You're a wee star. Ah, Dan, for a lover. Does she feel the same way? I think she feels the same way. In fact, she asked me to move in here with her. Do you mind? Mind? No, Pete. I'm not sure the church would approve, but... But then, we're not a family that's done things by the book, have we? God bless us. <laughs> Yeah, where are you going? Let's go. What? Let's get our things packed. We're leaving. We're going home now. Where's Alana? She's not back. Yeah, but we can't go until we know. Look, Alana. Janet! I don't want to argue with you. Just get your things packed. Now come on. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah, tell her. I know we've both been through this with other people, but I just think that you and I, we stand a chance together, you know? Cool, mate. And there's, there's still a present on the tree for you. Mm. What are you doing standing about in the dark? Oh, George, have you no romance in you? <laughs> <laughs> Vera. Where are you going? Never. Where is she? Who? <laughs> Don't mess me about, son. That's Alana's jacket. You know where she is. What's the name of the canny? Yeah, you can. Time for a wee nightcap, I think. It's funny. Raymond's no phoned her wing round. I hope they found her, Lana. What a wee minx she is running away like that. Oh, here. There's still a present on the tree. Oh, mm. it's got your name in it, Della. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't see who it's from. Uh, sorry, this, this isn't exactly how I planned it. Uh, I meant to do it today. It'd been Christmas and everything. Do what? What's he talking about? Wow. Sorry if you think it's a bit crass for me doing this in front of everybody, but... The truth is, I'm just so proud and pleased about this baby. Sorry, Cormac. I really am. But I can't. I know. I know what he did to you. And I know that's why you don't want to go back. Don't say that. You say that and I'll tell Roisin it was you. Alana, it's a crime what he's done to you. You need to know that. I didn't mean him to do it. I know. I told him. I tried to tell him. It's all right. 
No, it's not. I can't go back to them. What? You think I'd let you go back knowing this? I'll get the police done. No, you can't, please. Lana. No, I'll never forgive you. You can't do this to me. Look, I know this is really hard for you. But I need you to trust me right now. Me and Rasheen have to protect you. No, not Rasheen. Rasheen mustn't know. You can't tell her. But he's got the answer for what he's done. No! If you tell Rasheen or the police, I'll kill myself. I will. So what do you want me to do? Just make him go away. Please. Just make him go away. All right. I won't say anything. We'll go home, and I'll tell him to leave. I don't want to see him, though. It's okay. You won't have to. <sighs> they ain't never ever gonna go. <sighs> so, do you have a good Christmas, then? Aye, the best. Thanks. I'm glad you're staying. Actually, I just want to talk to you about the whole idea about moving in together. How? I don't think it's right. But I thought you wanted to move in as much as I wanted you to move in. I do want to move in. But the new you just said... I said we weren't doing it the right way. Look, I want us to be a proper couple, Michelle. What do you mean? I want us to get married. I mean, I got it out of cracker. I don't have time to go to the shops. I mean, I'll get you a better one. Ones with diamond and all that, I promise. Um, look, I know I'm no good at all this romantic stuff, but I just pure love you, Michelle. Michelle, I'd kind of like you to say something now. I love you too. So? So? So, demon I. Come on, don't leave me hanging here, I'm dying. Aye, of course it's an eye. You're a dancer. <laughs> but what about Anna? You said we were going to be without her. Alana, where have you been? Alana, I'm sorry, you made me tell him. Peter, this is private. You heard me. Go upstairs to Hazel. Just go, Vader, will you? Alana! Hey! I don't have time for this! Alex, stop it! You're hurting her! Get off me! I know who you are. I know what you did to her. You're drunk. Stop! Stop, stop it! Stop. What do you think you're doing? Give him this pervert what he deserves. That's what I'm doing! Did you see? You heard me. Daddy's little girl! Why don't you ask Daddy what he's been doing to Alana? You don't know what you're talking about. No, don't I? No, you don't. And I shudder to think how much you've been taking advantage of her. You I can't leave him, please! See? If I'm such a monster, why is she trying to protect me? Men like you, I'd kill the lawyer! Yeah, no. Get out! Get in your car, get your bags, and get away from here! See? See the kind of man Alana's living with? You get back to Aberdeen before I rip your throat out! Oh. I'll go, but I'm taking Alana with me. Do oh, you think so? Alana, tell him. Tell him how you feel about me. She loves me. <laughs> you know how much you love me. Don't cry. <laughs> you know we love each other. You know how much I love you. I can't bear to be without you. You get him out of here. I swear to God, I won't be responsible. Tell him, Alana. Darling, tell him! Darling! Tell him! It's okay, it's over. It's over. Shh. It's okay. It's okay.
catch up in events at River City on Sunday, January 2nd at 1 o'clock here on BBC One Scotland. Great family viewing next on BBC One Scotland, the live action version of The Jungle Book coming up. If you have been affected by the issues raised in this programme and would like to speak to an experienced advisor, you can call the BBC Scotland Action Line. 